Good morning. Welcome to your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We have some cloudy conditions across the region, seeing some mainly upper level cloudiness across the region from Tropical Storm Adelia. That's currently south of our region, will remain south of our region. Uh, could see a few sprinkles this morning, otherwise, just some breezy conditions today with a high pressure settling in over our area as Adelia moves over the open waters of the Atlantic. That's going to give us a possibility or a likely situation of a wind advisory for this afternoon with wind gusts near 25 knots uh, for this afternoon. As we move into uh, Friday of the weekend, looks like good conditions in general, uh, seeing a warmer tre warming trend towards uh, the end of the weekend, but overall dry conditions expected across the region and uh, winds settling down after today. Taking a look at our sounding from this morning, a freezing level of 14,600 feet, winds out the northeast and low levels fairly strong around 25 knots and light winds between 6 and 9,000 feet. And then above that, we see our winds increase up to 30 to 8 knots out of the southwest to 25,000 feet this morning. Our current surface analysis, we have Tropical Storm Medallia currently just off the North Carolina, South Carolina coast. You can see here the track taking it over the open waters Atlantic, then possibly approaching near Bermuda once we move into uh, the second half of the weekend uh, into Sunday and possibly into Monday with some uh, just some minimal tropical storm force conditions possible across that area during that time period. As far as our weather goes, we'll have high pressure building in from the Great Lakes for the next few days and giving us nice conditions. We do have a, a coastal flood advisory currently in effect uh, with some tides about one foot above normal uh, across our region with the uh, higher surf as well as the northeasterly winds and astronomical higher tides. So it could see some minor coastal flooding in the typical low-lying spots today. As far as our satellite imagery goes, you can see we do have lots of cloud cover across the region from the uh, northern spread of those clouds from Tropical Storm Dahlia this morning. That's going to be moving off the coast for later this afternoon, the evening hours, and seeing some peaks of sunshine for later this afternoon. Taking a look at the Herm model for the next 48 hours, you can see here all that rainfall stays off the coast. Clouds clear out, especially for the overnight hours, clear skies expected. We'll see some partly cloudy, mostly cloudy conditions for Friday. Good weather in general, slightly breezy winds out of the northeast, but overall some nice weather. Temperatures in the mid-upper 70s across the region. And moving to Saturday, looks like another cooler start to the day as we'll have uh, some clear skies, partly cloudy skies overnight. And Saturday looks like another nice day for the beginning of September. As we move into our European model here the next two days, you can see Tropical Storm Medallia moves off the coast. High pressure builds in for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and into Monday. Looks like continued nice conditions. That high will move off the coast on Monday into Tuesday. That should bring in some heat across the region as an upper level ridge builds over the eastern United States. That's going to allow for us to see some uh, warming temperatures with temperatures expected in the upper 80s to lower 90s across the region for Monday and Tuesday. And then the Wednesday, uh, still in a question of how this pattern um, works out for uh, the middle portion of next week uh, with uh, general high pressure still remaining in control of our weather. Could see some more onshore flow during that time period for later into Tuesday and Wednesday, cooling those temperatures down slightly across our region. So taking a look at our risk chart for today, we'll see those windy conditions or breezy conditions this afternoon, northeast, 15 to 20 knots, gusts to 29 knots. So going with the red condition here for our winds over uh, 25 knots uh, for the afternoon hours. High today only around 75. That's about uh, 5 to 10 degrees below average for this time of year. Low tonight around 62. That's about 5 degrees below average. So uh, some nice, cooler, pleasant conditions across the region other than the breezy conditions we'll see today. Winds will start to calm overnight out of the north-northeast at 7 to 12 knots. Our 24-hour turn of forecast, we should see VFR conditions in general today. We'll have likely scenarios, though. We'll see some broken clouds at 2,000 feet from time to time. So uh, otherwise, we'll just see uh, good conditions across the area with decreasing cloudiness, especially in the mid and upper levels for later this afternoon. Overnight, as I mentioned, we'll see clear skies take over and nice conditions for our Friday morning with just a few clouds around 3,000 feet. As I mentioned, we do have uh, higher normal tides, currently about one foot above normal, and the National Weather Service has issued a coastal flood advisory for those low-lying spots for today. As we move into Friday into Saturday, we'll see Friday partly mostly cloudy and slightly breezy winds, high of 77. Friday night, mostly clear and cooler, a low of 59. And for Saturday, partly cloudy to mostly sunny and pleasant, high of 78 degrees, green chart across the board for Friday into Saturday. So for the next seven days, we'll see those mild conditions for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, temperatures in the 70s. Then we'll see those temperatures start to warm for Sunday, 84, increasing the humidity as well. Monday, 91, partly cloudy and hot. 
across the region. Tuesday into Wednesday, looks like upper 80s to mid 80s across the region, partly cloudy skies. Not seeing any chance of precipitation uh, the next seven days, just seeing that uh, about 10 to 15 percent chance of a sprinkle this morning, and that has uh, moved off the coast. So looking like the next seven days, we'll see dry conditions, uh, lots of sunshine across the region with some warmer to hot conditions to move into early next week. Well, that's going to complete our 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. I hope everybody has a great day today. Back tomorrow morning at 15 and 10 a.m.